everybody. I didn't realize this is the last class. Wow. Well, I'd like to start this class with a poem, and I'd like for us to think of this class as being joyful and, and fulfilling. So close your eyes. I'm going to read a poem. Find your seat. <sighs> Feel your butt cheeks release from the, from <clears throat> into the chair. Feel the connection from your tailbone to your top of your head. Palms facing on your thighs. This is about practice. Practice for the sheer joy of being free. Practice to be empty of me, me, me. Silent, open, and infinitely vast. Practice to remember what is real. Practice to give yourself up and receive the wordless truth of what you get will be useless unless the coin of any realm but oh, the glory of these moments being whole. And so I'd like to think, I'd like you to think of today's practice of filling up, being whole and feeling the joy. We're gonna start by doing a six part breath by putting something behind you. You can put a pillow or you can put a block, but I'd like you to be able to feel the back your back against this pillow and we're going to fill our lungs up fully in what's called the six part breath we start the six part breath <clears throat> by feeling the breath from <clears throat> the top to the bottom so we inhale and we lengthen from the top to the bottom Lengthening, lengthening up, and then we come back to the center. And then we lengthen from the top to the bottom, bringing the breath up towards your head and down towards your pelvis and release. And inhale one more time, top to bottom, and release towards the heart. So we stretched our lungs north to south. Now we're going to come into our belly, uh, front of our, our chest and to the back. So as you inhale to the front of your body, press into the front of your body and the back of your body and fill your lungs from the front to the back. So inhale, press into the back of your lungs, fill the front of your lungs. So we're filling the lungs front to back and then exhale uh, in toward the heart again. Inhale, front to back. So really press into the pillow behind you and press into your hand in front of you. And exhale. One more time, inhaling, front to back. Fill, 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 fill. And exhale in towards the heart. Now we're going to open the lungs from the side to side. So put your hands underneath your, uh, by your ribs. And we're going to widen the lungs. So inhale, widen the lungs, exhale, bring them in toward the heart. Inhale, widen, widen. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. Exhale, bring it in towards the heart. One more time. Inhale, widen, widen, widen the lungs and bring them into the heart. So we've opened the lungs in six directions, from the top to the bottom, from the front to the back, and from the side to the side, really getting as much air and oxygen into our lungs. Now we're gonna bring it all together. So just put your hands here on your belly and inhale, top to bottom, front to back, side to side, fill, 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 feel yourself filled, and then exhale and say the word shh. We're emptying our lungs of all this wonderful air. Inhale, top to bottom, front to back, side to side. Exhale. Shh. 
One more time, inhale, front to back, side to side, top to bottom. And feel this engagement in your core as you empty your lungs of all the stairwell that you have accumulated. Ah, now, without me giving you the clues, just fill yourself up and empty yourself with the sound of s or ch or s or s. But whatever sound you want, we've done this before. This is our sixth class. Inhale, fill everything up. And exhale. And then let's just start moving around, fully giving our butt a nice massage and really feeling our sits bones rolling on the chair. Keeping your hands, palms down on your body. Now, as you do this, see if you can do it in um, coming from the belly. So thinking of when we took that out, exhale to the back, inhale to the front, opening the thighs just a bit too, getting the full benefit of this. And then stay back here. Exhale, look down, feel that you're into a cat, cat, cat pose, and then reverse to the other side. Oh, feel how good that feels. And think you can get that movement coming right from that belly, letting that belly move you around. Ah, and then this time we're going to stay in the front in a cat pose. So press your shoulder blades down, lift, lift your chin, don't crunch the back of the neck, engage that belly, even though you're in a little bit of a back bend, take a few breaths. And then from here, we're, getting, we're doing our back bend, exhale to our forward bend. This time we're keeping our hands on our thighs. Inhale, bend the elbows, a little bit of a back bend, a cow pose. Exhale, to a cat pose. Inhale, to the cow pose. Exhale, to the cow pose. And then let's just roll around again. And notice how you feel your body starting to warm up. You can keep your hands higher on your thighs if you want, let the elbows come out, but in working from our belly and the other direction. Oh, getting the full uh, benefit from this stretch as much as is comfortable for you. Then let's take this, Pillow, oh, I dropped mine. <laughs> and let's just do a wave. Ah, you know, remember the days when you used to go to ball games and you did a wave? Hold anything you want and do your wave. <sighs> Exhaling and inhaling, letting your breath take you with this movement. Ah, feeling the opening on the side ribs. <sighs> and then let's just. Stay in one side here, and you can drop your hand. You can hold on to this, uh, whatever you're holding on to, and look up ah, to the sun that's not there, and look down to your floor. Imagine you're looking up at the sun, and I'll open your, your hand up, ah, down. Let's do some more waves. Ah. Really warming up the body to prepare for our poses. Now we stay on this side, drop down, look up, and look down. As you look down, bring the belly in. Look up. Exhale, bring that belly in. And come to the stillness. We're going to do a little twist now. So come up to uh, now you can stay right back in the chair. Keep your feet together. Inhale, come on up. And then exhale, let's twist, drop our shoulders and just twist to the side. Keep the shoulders dropped. Press into your 
uh, your thigh or your shin or the chair. And it with each inhalation, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen with each exhalation, maybe twist a little bit further off toward the back of your chair. Inhale, lengthen and exhale. And notice if you can keep both butt cheeks on the chair. So if one butt cheek seems to come off the chair, I'm gonna just look at you while I talk. Hey, you can look at me too. That way we work our neck. You, if you feel butt cheek just with the exhalation, just let it sink. Don't press it down, let it sink into our twist. And one more breath, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And exhale, come back to the center. Three breaths. Now see if you can remember that six part breath where we filled up the whole lungs. Inhaling to the front of the back, the side to the side, the top of the bottom. Really filling your lungs with air. And with the exhalation, taking that sound and really pushing all that stale air that's maybe deep down in your lungs, pushing it all out and engaging what we call that core, that neuro core. One more breath, filling, 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 filling to capacity and exhaling from the belly. Whatever sound you like that works. And let's bring our hands up. Let's turn to the other side, bring the shoulders down and let's twist to the other side, inhaling. Lengthening, notice if both butt cheeks can stay on the chair, look towards me and that way we can work our neck and I, you, I can see you, you can see me. And inhaling, lengthening. So our head is going one way and our body's going this way. So we're really twisting the spine, giving it a nice little workout to help to uh, promote flexibility with this spine. So keep breathing while I'm talking. In, and I'm gonna go back here. One last twist, see if you can get the maximum, what's good for you today. Our last class. <sighs> and after the uh, last exhalation, turn to the front. So keeping with our theme of joy, we're gonna do the breath of joy from sitting. So let's, I've never done this before, but it sounds like it might work. So the breath of joy works. It's gonna be really good for our shoulders. It, we go up, now we go out. We go up again, like we're leading an orchestra. And then we exhale, bring the belly in, ha, and just let yourself come down on the chair. So we do three inhalations and one exhalation. So inhale, Hands up, inhale, hands out, inhale, hands up again. Big exhalation, belly in, ha! And make sounds, inhale, 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 ha! Inhale, 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 ha! Inhale, 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 ha! Keep going, and if you'd like, you can go faster. <sighs> Staying on the chair. <sighs> Let's go, five. Inhale, through your nose this time. Inhale, th through the nose, three times. <sighs> Out through the mouth, inhale through the nose. Three. Two. <laughs> One, now stay up. Oh, now tell me, tell yourself, if you can feel a little bit of prana, which is the life force in your fingers, maybe you feel a little tingling in your fingers. That's a good thing. You've, you've accessed your life force, your prana, and here it is on your fingertips. Come down to... Cactus, open the fingers, drop the shoulders. Inhale, open up just a bit more, opening that chest, 
Keep that belly in while you do this. We're not doing a back bend. And then exhale, come on and close. Now feel your back body opening just a bit. We're gonna work the shoulders. So we're going to open the palms. So you're looking at your palms, keeping the elbows closed. If you can, open up and peek through and breathe. Notice the shoulder area that feels maybe tight, that may be feeling um, a pull. And if that pull feels like a good pull, go with it. If it doesn't, open up. Don't press more than your body. We always say in yoga, listen to the wisdom of your body. If your body is telling you uh, it's too much, release. If your body feels good, like, oh man, that's good, then Bring your elbows closer together. Come back in and breathe. Now bring your hands down here. This is all gonna work, open our shoulders. And we're just going to keep your elbows glued onto your side ribs. And we're just going to keep a nice look at yourself. Make sure that you're nice and parallel to the floor, and then open this way, and release. And let's take three nice full breaths, letting each exhalation really engage your belly. So this belly engagement is gonna help us with some work for our legs. So we're just gonna start to just slowly do a slow walk and notice how it feels and let each exhalation bring it up and now go even slower. Inhale, exhale, bring it down. Now keep it up and bring your foot out and now you really need to engage that belly and hold that foot out and turn it out and turn it back, turn it in and turn it back. Keep holding that belly and release. Let's try the next one. Let's do a couple more walks very slowly. And then we're gonna keep this foot up, exhale. Now bring that belly in because you're gonna need that belly to keep this foot straight up. And keep breathing, keep the belly in. Notice the engagement. Now, if your lower back hurts, bring that belly in even more or release the pose. Go lower if your lower back hurts. Um, we always say, if anything hurts, we want to release the pose and know, and back and forth, know the difference between a good stretch, a tolerable pressure, and something that's a hurt. We never want to hurt in yoga. And come down. <sighs> okay. And let's uh, hold, get our strap. If you have the strap, ooh, oh, water. If you don't have the strap, then you can try and just. Uh, Hold your foot wherever it is. We're going to turn the foot out just a bit from the hip, from the hip. And we're going to stretch it, stretch our hamstring. And we're going to bend it and stretch it. So you're going to start to feel in your hamstrings a slight pull. If that pull feels nice, enjoy it. If it feels too much, and keep it bent. You don't even have to straighten it. Back and forth. Stretching the hamstrings this way. And then come back, stretching the hamstrings here just a little bit more. And we're just gonna do this one foot. Now we're gonna cross over and we're gonna feel our hip open up. We're just gonna sit like this Take some nice breaths and with the exhalation, try to bring in the belly with the exhalation if you can. 
And notice if you get more of a connection to your seat. And breathe. This foot's flexed to protect the knee. And you can give a little wiggle if you want to just kind of let that hip joint start to, uh, to loosen up. Open up if that's appropriate for you. And if it feels good like that, you can come forward, but only from the belly. So imagine your belly button is coming forward. Just come forward with your belly button. Now you might feel a deeper stretch in this uh, muscle back here. For some people who have bad backs, this, is, this feels really good, depending on what, what causes your bad back. If it doesn't feel good, then just cross over like this. Like this, whatever you want, come forward, don't come forward. It's your practice. I want you to feel the joy in your practice today, our last class. Uh, and come back and let's do the stretch on our other leg. Take your strap. We start opening here from the hip, right? And we're opening from the hip. So your knee comes out here like this and stretching this hamstring, opening the hip again, stretching the hamstring. And then you can stay with the stretch, breathe through the stretch if it feels good for you. Make, now, it's very easy to slump while you're doing this. Try not to slump. Try to keep that belly engaged just a bit. Release those butt cheeks, hold, that stretch and then come to the set come to the fo to forward stretch and here we are bending and stretching holding it sit up tall belly in And release. Now let's see if we can remember the six part breath without having anything behind us because we're going to use it to do some, um, some more cola. So sit at the front of your chair, in the middle of your chair, front of your chair. Let's see if you can remember inhaling front to back, side to side, top to bottom, fill, 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 and exhale. Inhale, front to back, side to side, top to bottom, and fill. Now, come back, put your shoulder blades there. This time, you're going to fill yourself up, and as you exhale, you bring those knees up. Bring that belly in into our upward facing boat pose. I'll show you what it looks like from the side. So here we are. Inhale, front to back, side to side, top to bottom. and release. And one more time. Inhale, front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Now you might just bring it up for a second. Whatever you do is great. But what I want you to do, and you might bring it up only this much. What I want you to make sure you do is when you do that sound, you engage that belly because that's going to uh, give you the energy to lift those legs and strengthen that core and and protect our lower back. So let's do this two more times. And then if you want to hold it, you can hold it or not. So inhale, fill it all up, exhale, release. Inhaling again, exhale. You can bring this up if you want and release. You'll feel more of a pain. We're gonna hold it this time if it's right for you. If it's not, just come and do whatever you can. It's all good. Okay, we're gonna inhale and we're gonna exhale. And if it feels good to you to hold it like this, if not, hold it like this or don't hold it. Keep that belly in. If your back hurts, release that pose. If anything else hurts other than your belly and your thighs, which might be engaged, release. Ah, okay. All right. Let's just give our hips another little whoo, roundabout. 
this feels so good. Again, being aware of our belly today and using our belly as the initiation of this movement. Ah, okay. All right, now we're gonna go into our chair pose, out of the chair, chair pose. And uh, I'm gonna go to the side again. And those of you who have been in class with me, either um, at the parks, uh, know this pose. So uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna take you through all the steps. The first step, well, again, filling ourselves up. Exhale, let's bring up our shoulders in. Let's bring them out. Now you see this, we don't like this. This, this is very um, unco uh, uncomfortable and unsafe for us because oh, open up, bring it in. Inhale, release it. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, release it. Inhale, bring it in. Now keep it right there. Look at how straight my back is. Okay, fill everything up. And then as you exhale, your feet are a little bit away from you. Let me show you here. Good. And inhale, exhale, come up if you can. Inhale down. Now maybe you're only gonna come up this much. Maybe you're, you're just gonna press in your feet and not come up. Whatever you do is good and perfect for you. Just know what's good for you. I'm gonna go back into the full pose as this is our last class. I'm gonna do three times the three different modifications of the pose. So inhale, filling everything up. Exhale, first modification. Inhale down. Fill up. Exhale, second modification. Inhale down. Fill up. Third full pose. Here we are. Now, in this full pose, I drop my butt. I bring my belly in. I lift my chest. This is a chair pose. And release. <sighs> okay. Are we going to, are we, do we feel any joy? <laughs> are we, are we um, fulfilling our, our fullest um, practice? Let's open up here. Come to the edge of the chair and put your hands here and come forward. Now, bring your shoulders down, bring your uh, chest forward, and really feel the um, energy from the top of your head down your spine to your tail. As you breathe, bring that belly in and reach that belly towards the back of your body. Reach it toward the back of your body. And then from here, we're going to go into our goddess pose, my favorite pose. And breathe. Tall, tall spine. Now we're going to open our back body by taking our hands. You stay, you stay in these legs. And we're going to bring the right under the left. It's going to look opposite to you. I'm bringing my right under my left. You look opposite. I'm going to bring my hands together. And as I inhale, I'm going to exhale and really squeeze my upper arms together, feeling a bigger pull in those trapezius muscles in the back. And inhale, fill up. It's harder to fill up when you're all twisted here. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, fill up. And exhale, squeeze. Okay. And now we're gonna bring our right hand leg over our left leg. And we're gonna do a deeper twist. This time we're gonna get deeper into our belly. So. 
Right leg is over left again. It's going to look opposite to you. If you can, you can try and just hook or stay as uh, hook your foot underneath your ankle or not. But this is going to prepare us for our peak pose for today. So inhale. Now exhale, turn and bring your, so your right foot is over, take your left hand and press your left hand into a really deeper twist. Now this twist is going right into the deep belly. As you inhale, lengthen up. As you exhale, twist a little bit more. Deep, deep belly. Inhale, I hope you haven't had coffee in the last hour. It may feel uncomfortable. And one more time, inhale, and exhale, twist. Oh boy. Woo. And let's do the opposite one. So let's take the left over the right and hook if you can. Inhale and exhale, twist. Twist, twist, twist. And twist. Okay, we're going to do the full pose later. Let's go into our sun salutation poses. So we're going to go back here. Here we are into our uh, goddess. And from our goddess, we're going to take our, the right leg is bent, the left leg is, is straight and flexed. And we're going to go into our warrior two. Now, the thing with warrior two here is that you have the advantage of both hip bones being on the chair and even. So if one hip bone's coming off, if one butt cheek seems to come off, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, just release it. Just release it. And this time, when you engage the belly, think of engaging the belly from the sides. This is another way. So it's almost like you're pushing in from the side. That's another way to engage that belly. And you can do any sound you want because I don't hear you. And sounds are really good. So from here, we're gonna go to our side angle. So we take our forearm, put it onto our thigh, and oh, opening up that side body, look up, up and really reach up, look up to the ceiling, look up to your hand. Now, don't shrink in the shoulder. Don't let the shoulder come down. Keep pushing that shoulder away from your ear so you have a nice open area here. And look at the energy from my fingertips. Well, see if you can feel your energy from your fingertips down the side all the way to your toes. Ah, side angle pose. And then from the side angle pose, we're just going to do the other side in what's called our uh, peaceful warrior pose, opening the other side. And bring the hand here. Ah, and opening up. Hand is here. Oh, opening, feel that stretch. Okay, now we're going to go into our lunge. So we've done this the last few weeks. We drop our knee. We're on the side of our chair. Only one butt cheek is on the chair. The other leg is off the side of the chair. The knee is right below your hip. Put your hand on your hip so that you can make sure it's there. Your toe is turned under and your back toe is turned under. And then if you can, Release and hold. <sighs> now remember, now we have to balance. So you're going to press into that front foot and that back toe and release that butt cheek. Now, if you feel like you want some more work, you can press into, whoo, press into that toe and lift up just a bit, lifting your weight, pressing, using this, uh, this quadriceps and your belly. Just coming up just a bit, just to test your own strength. 
and release. And then let's come back and let's just come to a forward fold. So last time I didn't, I told you not to bend your, uh, your, your spine. Now, if it's okay for you, if you don't have glaucoma or detached retina or an eye problem or Meniere's disease, then just <sighs> let it all hang out. If you tend to get dizzy, be mindful, don't do this. And release. <sighs> Feel the opening in the thighs. And let the neck just shake your head no, shake your head yes. Let the neck really release. <sighs> And I want you to come up really slowly because the blood pressure changes. So take your hands and just walk, you put your hands on your ankles and just gently walk your hands up. And how about using our belly? How about engaging the belly and rolling up from the belly? Let me do this. Ah, and here we are. Let's just open and close, open and close. Just release any tension that we've created. And let's do our other side. Starting from our goddess pose, we're going to lengthen our other leg, flex the foot, and out to warrior two. We're at the front of the chair. So you're gonna feel that both butt cheeks are on the chair, both uh, the, the bones of the pelvis are even on the chair. Here we are in a warrior one, look towards the finger that has the bent knee. And then we're going to go with the forearm onto our thigh into our side angle, opening the side body. Ah, oh, feel that nice stretch. Again, don't sink, don't sink, good. And nice breaths, take full breaths. Notice if your breath starts to get a little bit um, short or uh, shallow, and the idea of yoga is to, is to keep the breath going as we're in poses that are not, you know, usual for our body. And then let's go into our hand over here and let's go into our peaceful warrior pose. Again, both butt cheeks are on the chair. If one is off, just try to release it and let it sink down. And now we're going to turn to the side. Our front leg is at a nice right angle. Our back leg is at a nice right angle also. Just put this down there. Let's see this. Okay, and the toe is under. And just one butt cheek is on the chair. And now I'm going to balance. And notice as I balance, I'm going to bring the belly in the way I did before. By, by bringing it toward the center, bringing the muscles toward the center. And you can use your sound. Ha! Ha! That helps to bring the belly in. And then I'm going to see. Can I get up a bit? Oh, now this side's easier for me. So it's interesting how when you do yoga, when you do things on both sides, how you notice how one side is always different than the other. Ah, and come back. And we're not gonna go all the way down again. We're just going to bring our legs together and sit. One more strengthening pose for you. And this is again, trying to bring, uh, to use our, this time, use our, uh, our core to strengthen our body. So you're going to inhale and as you exhale, you're gonna 
engage the belly, you're going to lift up and come down, lift up and come down. And you don't even have to leave the chair, even if you just have some of your weight on your hands pressing down. Now, if you've arthritis in your hands or you've got carpal tunnel or wrist problem, don't do it this way. Just engage and just sit. Okay, here's that's part one. Part two, the, knee, the, the feet are out, is we lift up, we come out, and we come back. <sighs> Inhale, lift up, come forward, come back, and release. Part three, this is the full uh, pull-ups. Uh, inhale, come forward, exhale, here we go. Now you can feel this in your triceps. This is a backwards push-ups, pull-ups. Now be mindful of your knee. If your knee hurts, you've got to push your foot out. My knee was hurting a little, so I had to push my foot out. Now my knee doesn't hurt at all. The point is we never want the knee or the lower back or the shoulder to hurt. Oh, that was some workout, huh? All right, let's stretch into our downward dog using the chair. And stepping back and look into your camera. Make sure that your back is nice and straight. You don't want it like this. If you need to, to uh, go in a different part of the chair, go in a different part of the chair. So everybody's got a different dog. There's hundreds of different dogs. Now, in your downward dog here, press your shoulder down towards your waist. Bring that belly in towards your spine, pulling it in together again, and breathe. With each exhalation, bringing that belly out, bring that belly in. <laughs> okay, now from here, we're gonna go into a warrior one, we're going to turn the foot out, the back foot out, and we're just going to go into a little warrior one where you're just going to press into your um, knee. Now, if you do not want to get out of the chair, just do the warrior one the way we did it on the chair before. And if you can, lift your arms up. Now, press that back foot, that little toe, the back foot right in. Use the chair. You can use the chair to balance you with your hands. If you feel you want to let go, you can use your chair. Uh, you can use the, uh, the knee or the shin on the chair to keep you down. Put your hands on your hips. Bring your, your right foot is forward. Bring your right hip back and go back to down facing dog. And notice the, uh, the effects of this pose on your body. Maybe it feels good and stretched, or maybe it feels like, oh, that, that uh, it gave me a pull somewhere. All right. Turn our right foot out, bring, bring the left foot in, and touch. Use the chair for support. Press into the back foot, press down into the chair, lift the chest, drop the shoulders. And if you can, you can let go. If you want to press that baby toe and that back foot in, you can also squeeze your thighs towards each other without moving your, uh, without, without moving your feet. And that also gives a nice way to, uh, to get the balance and bring the belly in. And back to downward dog. Oh. And now let's come forward. And now we're going to do the chair pose that we did coming from the chair, down, uh, from coming from, from standing. So as you stand and hold on to your chair, you're going to 
as if you're sitting in the chair, the chair is behind you, but it's not. Look down, make sure you see your toes. Make sure your knees are okay. And come into your chair pose this way. Lift the chest, you can hold on to the chair. So most people will be able to do this coming from, uh, coming from standing. Now, bring the belly in, drop the tail, and your thighs will feel it. But that's, that's all right, you're not gonna damage your thighs, but if your back feels it, come out of the pose or bring the belly in. Bring that belly in, dropping that tail a bit will help to protect your back. Oh, and release. Oh, good grief, okay. So let's do a <clears throat> standing pose and do a standing balance. You have your head, your, uh, you can hold on to the chair. We've done a lot with the open hips and so to do our sitting uh, eagle pose. So let's just bring, let's try this. Let's bring the knee onto the chair so that the chair is supporting the knee. And this is a, a much more accessible um, tree pose. You don't have to let go. You can try letting go, but you got the chair right there. Engage that belly again. You can bring your hands up if you'd like. You're, you're, you could be here, you could be where, but what I'd like you to do is to use the chair as a support for your, uh, for your knee. Just a gentle support wherever you are. Tree pose on that foot. And tree pose on the other leg. Wherever you are, you could even be here. Use the chair. You can bring that chair wherever you need to, to give you support. But be mindful not to put your foot right on your knee joint here. You want to be above the knee joint or below the knee joint. I'm going to do a low one on this side. And maybe this side I can't let go. Maybe I can let go for a second. Remember, each side is different. Press down in your standing leg and bring that belly in this way. Full breath and belly in. Shh. You could even use the sound. Shh. Sometimes the sound shh. helps us to balance. <sighs> okay, let's go back into our chair. Let's do our peak pose that we've been warming all of our body for, and this is our eagle pose. So the eagle pose is a pose that is really good for anxiety. Uh, <clears throat> We, we create a tension and then we let it go. So I'm going to tell you the, the, the sides. It's going to look different to me because I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I'm opposite of you. So take your right leg, bring it over your left leg and hook it under or not. So this is a hooking under, but you don't have to. You can do it this way, any way you want. And then you're going to just squeeze those thighs together and you squeeze the belly. So right leg is over, open up, right arm is under, come back and connect. You don't have to connect. You can, you can, you can um, use a strap to connect if you need to. Whatever you can do. The point is that you're gonna feel <clears throat> pulling in the shoulders in the back, the, the stretch in the trapezius muscles, and you're going to feel a turning in of the hips. So here we go, this is our eagle pose. Inhale and exhale and just squeeze everything. Squeeze, 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 and let it go. And you can make a little circle and feel all the different muscles in the back of your body. Stretch. Let's do one more time. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Bring the belly in with the exhalation and release. I like to think we're flying away. Here we go. Take a breath, feel the 
the effects of that pose. And then we're going to do the other side. Left foot over right. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Hook if you can. Inhale. Right under left, uh, left, left under right. Cross, hook or hold. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And start to turn. This is supposedly the beak here, so we're looking for food if we're an eagle. And then inhale. Fill up, it's hard to fill up, but fill up as much as you can. Exhale, squeeze, get all the air out. Squeeze, 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 and release. One more time, inhale, inhale, inhale. And squeeze, 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 squeeze. Get all the air out of your lungs. And release, fly away. And now we're ready for Shavasana. We're ready to release all of our muscles, all the things that have been doing the work. So if you're on the chair, you can lean, forward, lean, uh, lean back on the chair and have your, um, your hips forward. Or if you are, you have something to put your feet up on, that's that's great. Or if you've got a couch nearby, you just go right on that couch. You're at home, you have lots of options. But find ah, a comfortable position and try to have your head to be supported. So if you're on a chair and, and this head is here, this is not gonna work. Just let your chin come forward now. We're going to start with our face and we're going to release our face, our eyebrows, release the jaw, release the skin around your cheeks, release your tongue. And then bring your attention to your shoulders and let your shoulders be heavy towards whatever your support is. Shoulder blades released. Neck released. And bring your attention to the front of you and release the chest and relax the heart. Relax the belly and let it be soft. Let those abdominal muscles be loosey goosey now. It's Shavasana time. And let your butt cheeks release. Let your pelvis be heavy. And let your breath be natural. Let your right arm. Release, let your left arm release, your wrists and your fingers. Let your, let your right thigh release, your right knee and calf and ankle and feet and toes. Let your left leg release your left thigh, your knees, your ankles, calves, and toes. Let your whole body feel relaxed. Let your breath be relaxed. and just be totally relaxed.
if some little noises come into your brain, just bring your attention to your breath or say to yourself, I am relaxed. <laughs> 